Alright guys, Big Papa Timo here. Hey, how's it going? How are y'all doing? If you had watched the update video, you'll know that I had a catastrophic crash uh, with my Escape the Pacific save. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and restart. And we're going to start from scratch. And one of the things that I've never actually done before is I've never shown this aspect of the game. So what we're going to do is I'm going to walk you through how to set up right from the very beginning how you can do this. Now this is a new game screen. Um, if you've played the game you've already gone through this but I'm going to show you what settings I'm going to use. So the first thing is you can either use custom world seeds or you can use random world seeds. The random one will just give you an island um, and everything will be generated randomly. That's super cool. But sometimes you'll find an island that you really, really like. And if you back out to the save screen while you're on the island itself, in the lower right-hand corner of the screen, you will see a regenerate number. That is the seed number for that particular island. What we're going to do is we're going to use 319272. 319272 is an island that I found just specifically looking for world seeds. It is what we call a huge island. It is a very large mixed density island, has a lot of wood, has some bananas on it, some papayas, some palm trees, some banana palms. So it has a little bit of everything, but it's also monstrous in size. It also has a freshwater pool of muddy water in the interior of the island. So those are actually pretty rare to find. So we're going to use that world seed. We're going to start on beginner difficulty. We're going in sandbox mode. We're going to go to the next. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, we have to be David, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to change this to athletic so that we start with a higher run and swim. Uh, you could also do the strong if you wanted and have more strength and endurance. Um, but I like starting with the athletic, personally, because I like the run and the swim to be higher. Uh, no pirate ships. We're going to click that off because, you know, um, you know, actually, we're going to do no pirate ships. doesn't matter because you can't do anything with pirates anyways. Um, time flow. Two hours. We want two hours for our days. And then days forward, we're actually going to set this to one so that every day we move one day further forward in the season. Now, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and change this to um, early spring. So we're going to start at the beginning of the year. We're going to change our latitude to be equatorial. So we're going to set that to zero. Uh, what that does is it kind of just flattens out all of the curves on everything. Temperature, you can change this from hot, cold, or normal. We're going to leave it at normal. Wind, we're going to leave that at normal. And rain, we're going to leave this at normal as well. Uh, I am tempted to actually do this as dry uh, so that there would be less rainfall, fewer storms. Um, I think that's actually which way we're going to go. We're going to go dry, so it's not going to rain as much. When it does, it it will be later in the year. You can see that there's an up curve as you get into late late um, late autumn. But we'll we'll go with that. The reason being is, given that I'm on a huge island, I actually want as little rain as possible because the island itself causes lag when it rains. There's so much stuff trying to render in. Um, that that's that's what goes on with that so we're going to go ahead and start this up hopefully this starts nice and smooth i'm not exactly sure after yesterday's crash i don't know what's going on uh, but it puts you right out on the island just like before you know and you got to come in here now to show you guys what this particular island looks like like i said this one is huge there i am on the on the little corner right there i am shipwrecked uh, doesn't give us the best view, but there is the fresh water on the inside, and that's what the general island looks like. Um, it's kind of hard to see from up here, but, you know, it is what it is. And, of course, everything else we're going to have to do just like normal. There are turtles on this island. Um, there are crabs on this island. There are seagulls on this island. There are all sorts of fun things on this one. So this is actually a really good... 
starter island because it pretty much has all the resources we're going to need now. Uh, of course, starting over, I have to start from scratch. So the very first thing I have to do is I have to find some sticks. Uh, we're going to put a couple sticks right here. We got wooden trunk. That's not what we needed just off the bat, but we're going to pull them out too. Um, we have a stone there. Let's go ahead and grab that small rock. We're going to grab this big honking rock over here. Bring this over here. We're going to start our, our pile of materials. Uh, but of course, the first thing we need, we're going to need the sticks for the tools. And we're going to need some rocks for the tools as well. So I'm going to run around until I can find a third small stick. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long. You would figure with a huge island there would be lots of sticks, but ironically there's not. There may be some on the interior. Never know. Oh, we do have some more stones. Oh, there's another stick right there. I ran right past it. All right, so let's bring that there. Three sticks. That's wonderful. We're going to grab this. We're going to dink, 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 dink. All right. Ended up with five chunks. We're going to need a knife shard. We're going to need an axe shard and a hammer shard. And we are already tired. All right, let's go ahead and drop that. And go in here to our tools. We are going to take away all of these and highlight these. Actually, we want to do that the other way because that was backwards. Number one, number two, number three. But we need to make our knife, we need to make our hammer, and we need to make our axe. Take that, put that in there. need to grab our axe. Uh, there are shards. I know that there are palm trees over on this little section here. Don't remember if there's a short one. All right, this one actually has some coconuts on it too. So we're going to take this down first. We're going to need our palm of fronds. Poor guy's exhausted already. All right, now we don't want the coconuts to go floating away. So we're going to put these up here real quick. You really take for granted the uh, the endurance that you build up over time. All right, 
right, we are going to move this material over here. We have some floaty bits. All right, then we want to grab our palm fronds. Grab five of those, and we're going to head back over to where our tools were. Uh, where did I leave my tools? That is a very good question, Timo. Where did you leave your tools? All right, they're right over here. All right, next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and build a backpack. bag and a tool belt and then we will put our extra palm fronds over here Oh, why are you going to be so difficult in targeting? Oh, God. All right. Axe. Knife. Hammer. Put those where they normally go. Got it. Crafting. Also... Remember Alpha, save often. Alright, now that I have some tools, I can grab a small stick off of this oleander. Of course, it doesn't give me any small sticks. That's fine, I just need the one. Now we have all of our basic things. We have storage. That is wonderful. I'm going to break down the wooden trunks into thick branches. Now the unfortunate thing about starting over yet again is I have to go through all of this early gameplay stuff completely from scratch. Which sucks is what it is. Now, we're going to come over here. We're going to grab some palm fronds. Now, the reason I chose this particular island is because of the plentiful supplies and the fact that it has that water pond. So this is what the water ponds look like. You can come in here and you can drink. Now, this is muddy water, though, so... Uh, it will make you sick if you drink it, but since we have the access of the water right here, all we have to do is get a container, and then we can boil this off and have really, really good drinking water. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build my base right here. Uh, pretty much going to put the building over on the side, uh, either right there back behind the pond or over here. Uh, depending on which particular things I take down. I don't want to take down all of the palm trees on the island because I want them to continually generate coconuts, but I'm going to have to take down the majority of them to, to build. Um, so there is that to worry about. But in the meantime, what I can do is I can... Just go down and take out all the oleanders and shepleros and the ficuses right here to give me a, a good start for beginner's materials. Of course, my guy is just exhausted. Poor dude.
Now, one of the other things that I want to do is I want to go ahead and make ourselves a nice long canoe. Because we want to get off this island actually pretty quick and go to the first island to get our map. So I'm going to go ahead and make us a nice canoe to get us off of here. Again, my poor guy is just exhausted. All right, got ourselves a nice canoe. Wind effect on the canoe, yep, got it. And we are gonna go ahead and plop you right there. need to make ourselves a paddle. So we need one long stick and some fire sticks. that actually in the water so we can grab hold of this we can enter into our canoe here I'm gonna hold W to get it to be automatic and we need to go back around to the other side of the island and find where our arrow is <coughs> and then from there we need to travel to another island Bump the mouse. Sorry about that. One of the other really big advantages of using this particular seed is there are a decent number of islands nearby. Uh, if I remember correctly, there are eight visible islands from this main one. And by the time we get to that other island, which I believe is, I'm pretty sure it's that one. Um, by the time we actually get there, we should be paddle level 5 or 6. So it will have done a good job of leveling up our paddling. It may be that one. All right, that looks like our arrow up ahead. And it is, in fact, pointing at that island. So we are going to go ahead and paddle our way over to this one. We are already at paddle three. Not too shabby.
But even from here, we can see one island there, one island there, one island there, an island there with a shipwreck, an island over there, and an island over there. Our endurance is already up to level 7. With the sheer number of times that I've done this in the last 48 hours. Um, this is my third. Third time doing this. 48 hours. With the... The failed save file and the crash. Now what I'm hoping is that by starting this again, this island is going to have everything that was on it before. <clears throat> because the start was actually phenomenal. Uh, I ended up, when I came over to this island, not only did I get the map and the compass, I ended up with seven boxes, I think, and four medium crates. Not to mention a wooden hammer and two iron axes. Didn't get a knife. Um, didn't get the metal knife, but did start out with good starter tools. And some boxes and stuff like that. And there is plenty of material on this island to build a nice big boat. There are lots of palm trees on this island that we're headed to now. There were a ton of coconuts. Lots of material to make rope and water. And there was also a water um, <clears throat> a water barrel that had like 83 units of water in it and a bucket. So all in all, good starter. Good, good first island to go to. Wow, the seas are kind of rough. Uh, but we'll see what, what's on there when we get there now. I did change some of the settings a little bit, so it could be different. We shall see. Now, what my intention for this particular one is... Alright, paddle level 5. Um, I'm going to use the main island that we just came from as the base of operations. I'm going to build a building there. I'm going to farm there. And I'm going to pretty much go out to these islands, grab all the stuff, and bring it back there. Um, and we're going to do more of the, the home cluster thing for season two. I don't really want to blaze through all these islands as fast as possible and then get the heck out of this cluster. I want to take some time and, and try out, you know, the farming and all the other things like that and, and see how they operate and, and get a good feel for pretty much everything before we try and leave the cluster. If we ever even leave this cluster. Season 1 saw us going to three different clusters. Uh, we found all sorts of cool things. We found the oysters and the sharks. Oysters are around in every cluster from what I understand. I have found them um, just off the coast of this island. I found the oysters. Didn't have a knife to go harvest them. Um, although I don't know if you can use the stone knife or not. I didn't try. But I did not see a shark yet, and I want to see if I can find a shark in the first cluster. We did find the sharks in cluster 3, uh, but I wonder if they are actually present in the beginner's clusters. Ooh, big wave. Alright, challenge completed. Paddler, level 1. Woot woot. All right, I can already see on this particular island there is, in fact, a water barrel right there. 
There are some medium crates over on the left. There is at least one chest over there to the right. That should be the one with the map and the compass. There may be two, two tiny ones next to the body. Uh, but the body of the guy is going to be right over there. It, it does look like there are two there. But the big question is going to be how much water is in this barrel. All right, let's come ashore. Uh, we want to exit. Come up here. We're going to drop this all the way up there because the tide looks like it's coming pretty far up. 69.4. So not as good as the last time, but 70 units of water. Really not going to complain about that. Uh, we are going to grab the stick. Got the barrel on that. Small crate. I'm going to bring this over here. Let's see what we got in this one. That is a good one. Uh, gave us a cooking pot, a sickle, some decent stuff. Uh, looks like we do, in fact, have the four medium crates, so we start out with a whole bunch of planks. That's wonderful. I'm moving everything over here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to start clear-cutting this island from this corner. Uh, we're going to start taking down all of the trees and bushes and stuff like that. And we're going to use the palms to build our boat uh, as well as... Um, some things like some drying racks, some, some fish traps. And we're going to go there. There is another box right there. But we also have the bucket, which is full of salt water. Bring the bucket on back over here. Grab the medium chest. So as you can see already, we've got a decent amount of loot on the very first island that we've been to. Uh, this small chest has the note. Note on this one says Northwest Direction is, of course, where we can find the sextant and clock. And then this one here gives us the compass and the map. So we are on island A. We have an island there, an island there, an island there. And there are, of course, more that we will... Uh, we'll make sure that we tag them all. There's a bunch of them over here as well. So we've already tagged five and we haven't even looked on the other side of the island. We have turtles here. We have our old iron axe. Another island there. Saw you. There you are. Another island there. Another island there. There. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten islands visible. 
Pretty sure we already tagged that one. Yep. So 10 islands visible from here. That's not too shabby. Grab Mr. Loggerhead. Bring him back. And I haven't even gone to the um, shipwreck yet. So we still have more things to get down there. The other thing about the shipwreck that was really, really surprising was the... Um, Oh, didn't mean to didn't mean to tap him. Uh, the shipwreck is a threefer. There are three boxes on the shipwreck as well. So, like I said, all in all, a very very good start to everything. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. We're gonna put that in there. Good to go on that. Um, didn't even check. Pretty sure this one's empty. Nope, has a candle and a cup. Uh, the shipwreck is going to have the hammer in it. If it stays the same way as it was before. So we'll end up with a wooden hammer as well. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab all of the turtles real quick. Bring them back. I believe there are four or f there might be five. And yeah, there's another turtle right there. But I want to get them now before uh, the change in day because I forgot to grab them all the first day before and a bunch of them disappear. So I'm going to grab all the turtles real quick now. And then I will make a drying rack and start to dry the turtle meat. We will make some uh, fish traps. Start catching fish so that we can dry some fish as well. And we will be pretty well stocked up on seafood, land food, uh, and fruit with the coconuts that we're going to be taking down. I think that's all the turtles. Yep, we got them all. All right, tool sharpening. Yes, I'm going to have to sharpen the tool, but that's going to do it for the first um reboot of the reboot of season two guys thanks again for all the love and support if you like the video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel click that notification button get notified every time big pop team up posts new content or goes live till next time guys go find your own damn islands